This is the 10 point Siege RS410. Great new crossbow out from 10 point that we wanted to tell you about. This has a lot of new technology for 10 point built into it that makes the shooting experience better and also is just uh, better for interaction between the archer and the bow. That AccuSlide we're going to tell you about is just a safer system. It uh, has a silent cock, but then you can also decock it just by unwinding the handle. You don't have to press any buttons. It's super simple to operate, which it makes it safer in the long, in the long run for the user. So we're going to tell you about this bow, let you see it in operation, but first let's run through the specs of the Siege RS410. The 10 point Siege RS410 measures 26 and a half inches from the back of the bow to the front end. It shoots arrows at 410 feet per second. It's going to be 12.3 inches from axle to axle when the bow is not cocked, 7.5 inches wide when the bow is cocked. Along with the bow, you're also going to get six Evo X center punch bolts, which measure 16 inches. All right, so what are we looking at here? This is the 10 point Siege RS410. It is, as we mentioned, a reverse uh, draw crossbow. What that means is the front of the bow essentially is back here towards the handle and the string is up at the end. So why is that important? It allows you to have this longer power stroke without extending the bow. As we mentioned, this bow is only 26 and a half inches long. To have this long of a power stroke with the bow flipped over, the bow would have to be much longer. Um, so that's one of the reasons 10 point uses the reverse draw. Also, with the head of the bow being back right over the handle, it balances a lot nicer and it's quieter. This bow is definitely a lot quieter than a lot of crossbows that you uh, see out on the market there, which is important because sometimes crossbows can be loud. This one is not. Uh, with the bow, you're, of course, let's look at some other features here. You're going to have a foot stirrup. This is a bow that has a hand crank on it, so you're not really, it's not really important to put your foot in there. That's why it's so narrow. This is actually just, you're going to set that on the ground for protection and then push on the back end when you crank the handle. You got string stops here. Those help uh, keep this bow nice and quiet. And of course, you're going to have your 10 point standard. It's a, a variable uh, power scope that you adjust to the speed of your bow because there's multiple reticles inside of here, which they do light up, red or green, depending on how you like it. Um, so you're going to turn this dial to set the bow to the speed that your bolts are shooting. That's going to have a variable ma magnification. It's like one to four power, um, depending on the speed of your bow. Super clear, great scopes. 10 point always has good optics on their bows. Um, so, but what we really wanted to tell you about was, is this device right here. This is the AccuSlide. This is a receiver here that we're going to release. The receiver is going to slide forward on a rail, capture the string, and then you're going to crank it back. Um, and it's just a real handy system. Again, super quiet. Uh, there's no vibration in this bow. There's no kick. Um, crossbows don't kick a lot anyway, but some of them you can feel a little more than others. This one you do not feel. It's nice and smooth, very quiet. This is going to be a great hunting machine uh, out there in the woods. In today's video, we'll do a short review of Avantgarde Endeavor ED2 8x42 binoculars. These binoculars are of Endeavor ED2 series, which has been in production since, since 2014. They are made in China. This particular pair has a configuration of 8 by 42. They weigh around 770 grams and are about 13 centimeters wide and 15 centimeters long. They house Schmidt Beacon prisms, so they are really compact and they come in this black color with some green elements. They are suitable for everyone, so for hunters, bird watchers and uh, travelers. The most amazing thing about these binoculars is that they come with this open bridge design, 
which gives you the ability to easily hold them with only one hand. The open bridge design also helps to reduce the weight without sacrificing the strength of these binoculars and it also provides large surface for you to hold them. They can be easily mounted on a tripod with this tripod adaptable screw so you can easily secure a steady image. They are fully waterproof and fog proof. They are filled with nitrogen gas to prevent any internal fogging. They are enclosed in this ergonomic rubber armoring which protects them against sudden impacts and also gives a pretty comfortable um, grip. The field of view uh, honestly could have been better. It is uh, 126 meters at 1000 meters. So to sum it up, these binoculars have a pretty nice design. The most uh, amazing thing about them is that they have this uh, open bridge design, which gives you the ability to easily hold them in just one hand. They are suitable really for everyone, so for hunters, bird watchers and travelers. This is our new Carbon Aux pack. Utilizes a full carbon frame system. It's an external frame pack. Noticing that the frame actually curves, keeping the weight close to the center of gravity. It's got a built-in meat shelf so you can use the pack and frame separately from one another. If you want to just pack out meat, you can pull the bag off and utilize it as a meat packing frame, or you can use the two in conjunction with one another and, uh, and carry that out. As with all Badlands products, it's backed by an unconditional lifetime warranty, built to last. Anything happens to it, your dog chews it up, you blow a zipper out, we'll repair or replace the product for the lifetime. Here we have our new Vario system. This is the Vario 32, has a obviously full internal frame system. The bag is fully removable. You can use the frame by itself for packing meat. You can run a number of different options from a day pack all the way up to a 6,000 cubic inch pack. So it gives you a lot of versatility in what you carry and how you carry it. The frame uses a aluminum frame system. So it's very, very lightweight, but very strong. You've got a number of uh, adjustment options here so you can configure the carry however you want to carry the product. Um, You'll notice it has a pre-curved anatomical shoulder strap, ventilated suspension. So this is the Vario system by Badlands. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2 5 to 25 by 50 rifle scope. This is a second focal plane scope with an MOA reticle. They also sell it in first focal plane with both MOA and mill dot reticles, but you want to kind of figure exactly what's going to fit your needs the best. Because for me, long range shooting, I decided to go with a second focal plane reticle due to the fact that it does not enlarge as I go through my magnification range. So the reticle looks exactly the same on five power as it does, does on 25 power. So if you're shooting longer ranges, that means that the amount of coverage that you're gonna have on your target is gonna be exactly the same all the way through your magnification range where in first focal plane, as you adjust your magnification higher and higher, the reticle actually gets bigger and bigger inside your viewing window and that can cover up more of the target at longer ranges. So you kind of have to balance whether or not you want a first or second focal plane, depending on exactly what you're gonna be using it for. Very fine precision shots, you might wanna consider second focal plane. And then if you wanna be able to see the reticle a little bit larger as you're stretching it out, then you might wanna go with first focal plane. Now, this does have an illuminated reticle. It's very nice, it's very bright, it's got several different settings with an offsetting in between each, each setting. So you don't have to bring it all the way back to zero and then adjust to your magnification range. You can be in setting 9 and then go in between 9 and 8 and it's going to be off and then go down to 8 and it's going to be on again. And so that's nice. But keep in mind that batteries in optics like this do not last very long. Uh, as a matter of fact, I actually left this on by accident for like two days and by the time I grabbed the rifle, it was already dead. Granted, it was probably on the highest setting at that point. But keep some extra batteries around in case you want to, you know, switch that out and use that. This also has a really nice parallax adjustment goes all the way from 25 yards all the way out to infinity. So it's set up really nice. The Sitka Subalpine 
heavyweight hoodie. It's the perfect bow hunting hoodie. I love this feature on this jacket. It's something that I wish all jackets had this kind of hood on there. So next up, we, we got these thumb holds and, and whatnot. Those just come around your thumbs and make sure when you're putting on a layered jacket that when you slide your sleeves underneath that you can just slide them in and that they don't start to ride up on you. This is an awesome feature. I mean, it's one of those things they didn't have to put in there. But just having that little chest pocket, put cow calls, uh, I can fit my cell phone in there, keys, whatever. It's a low profile hoodie, but I'm glad that they put that pocket there just for the extra storage and quick access to whatever you need. Lightweight, hugs your body, athletic fit. You can go do anything you want in it. It's it's a piece of Sitka gear that I would highly, highly recommend. And here is the classic wing shooter Upland Game Boot. They start off with the low profile rubber EVA Prairie White outsole. This less aggressive tread pattern helps prevent mud and dirt getting clogged up within the outsole. It also provides excellent traction and stability. The bottom is attached to the upper of the boot by utilizing the Goodyear leather welt construction method. This is a very durable construction and is also resolvable. Inside, we use an anatomically correct cambrel covered urethane footbed that provides exceptional underfoot comfort and support. The wing shooter also incorporates a steel shank for added support and stability. Premium full grain leather and ultra dry waterproofing keep you dry when you're in the field. The wing shooter comes in several different profiles. It comes in a mock toe, a smooth toe, seven inch height, and nine inch height. It is also available in uninsulated or 400 grams. The Wing Shooter is the iconic Irish Setter boot with decades of proven performance.